All right, hello, grade eights. Welcome to lesson 12.5, using simulations to determine probability. All right, and that's found on page 418 of your textbook. And the goal is to choose a model to determine the probability of a real life event. All right, so here's the question. Yen, not the catcher for the Cleveland Indians, former Toronto Blue Jay, uh, has a batting average of 0.5. 250, which is batting 250, okay, in baseball terms. Kelly has a batting average of 333, 0.333. Both students hope to get at least three hits in the next five times they are up to bat. They decide to use a simulation to determine the probability of getting more, getting three or more hits in five times at bat, okay? Question is, what is the probability that Yan will get three hits, three or more hits, in five times at bats? And again, all right, notice the word in yellow, simulation and experiment that models an actual event. Write that down, okay, and follow along here. All right, so we're going to try a couple of simulations, both of which have nothing to do with on-field. It's all about the paper, all right? Example one simulating using a spinner. Yan is getting at least three hits. Yan get, Here's the probability of Yan getting at least three hits in the next five times at bat. And B would be Yan getting less than three hits in the next five times at bat. So here is your options here. All right, so spin it five times, however many times it is, ten, 10 times, okay? Three or more hits in five spins, two times, two times. Less than three hits, okay, looks like 17 times. All right, sorry, 18 times, 18 times right here. Okay, so Yan's batting average is 250, one for four. So for every four times at bat, he usually gets one hit and three outs. I used five spins of the spinner with four equal parts to model Yan's next five times at bat. I recorded whether or not there were three or more hits. I repeated the, the five spins 20 times. All right, the experiment probability of Yan getting three or more hits is two out of 20, one in 10. The experimental probability of Yan getting less than three hits is 18 of 20 or nine of 10. Now, ladies and gentlemen, this is pretty accurate, okay? Because to get three, Okay, out of five hits, you're batting 600. Okay, that's six out of every time, six out of every 10 times at bat. Okay, Yan's batting 250. Okay, that's two and a half times. Okay, that's two and a half times every 10 at bats. Okay, 1.25 hits every five at bats. So if you look at the numbers here, he's hoping he's going to go three for five. On average, he goes 1.25 for five, or one if you round down, one out of every five. Okay, so if you've been looking at it realistically without running the simulations, you're saying, dude's a 250 hitter. He's thinking he's going to go three for five. He's going to bat 600. Not going to happen. Okay, he may have a streak or so. You never know. But if you're just looking at the numbers, okay, if you go for, you know, look at the numbers. He's batting 250. He's batting 333, essentially three out of every time, every 10 times at bat. Okay? Kelly's 2.5 out of 10 at bats. All right? You think the guy's going to go, you know, he's a three for every five or six for every 10? Just looking at this question, you say, not likely. Okay? Not likely. But you have to run the experiments to get a better idea. Or, more importantly, watch the game out on the field. Next experiment here is simulating using a four-sided die. Same idea, generally, same idea as the spinner. Okay, so with a 250 batting average, as I said before, Yan has a 25% chance of getting a hit, 75% of not getting a hit. For the simulation, he's a tetrahedral die. Since it has four sides, I rolled the die five times for each trial. The numbers one, two, and three represented outs. The number four represented a hit. After 36 trials, you calculated the experimental probability of getting three or more hits to be three out of 36, or one in 12. Same numbers, essentially, 
in and around the last simulation, okay? Pretty close the numbers, okay? 18 out of 20, 1 out of 12, okay? Looked pretty, pretty much accurate, same thing. And again, stays with your general average of being a 250 hitter. In fact, these simulations show this less, okay? So, here's your simulations. You can use a die, you can use a uh, spinner, okay? But what I recommend, ladies and gentlemen, is to look at the numbers, okay? Look at the trends, and that's all in data, data analysis. You're looking at the data, and you're, and you're predicting trends, okay? So he's been 250, he's hitting 333. You're asking him to go 6 for 10 to, to bat 600? Probability says no, it's not going to happen. If you're going to... Uh, if you're going to predict the future outcome of Kelly or uh, oh sorry Kelly or Yen, it's not going to happen because the trend says no. And this is what you're hoping is going to happen. I tell you by looking at the numbers, that's not going to happen. All right. So thanks for watching, and um, talk soon. Thank you. Bye bye.